Hi guys, welcome to Berry. I'm uh, not here to bury some bad news, here to share with you some very bad news, but is this the vehicle from Dumb and Dumber with the little floppy ears on the side? I don't know, but more vehicles should look like this. You know, if I was to get run over by a car, I'd want it to get run over by a little bear dog car. <laughs> okay, welcome to Berry Town Centre. Now the news, the mainstream news are reporting that a 17-year-old boy, 17-year-old boy is in custody for the stabbing of three men. So over 18s. Now for me, a 17-year-old is not a boy. That's an adolescent. He can drive a car, he can join the army, he can get married, and he can vote in a few months. So uh, let's go and investigate in the <clears throat> hellhole that is Berry. So uh, Berry Town Centre, seen, seen a few times on the Charlie Veach show, is a postmodern industrial concrete treeless hellscape of consumerism and uh, buildings built to only last a couple of decades before the property speculators come in and say it's actually better value to just knock all this shit down, including these overpriced apartments looking overhead, and start again. Modern architecture is almost as profitable as the weapons industry, except it takes 20 years instead of 20 milliseconds for your product to destroy itself and need to be rebuilt. Now, it says there on the left, Bob and Bert's proper coffee. I just get a vibe you would not get a proper coffee in there. And there's some drunken guy ruining my narration here, but there's police watching. Oh, this could be interesting. Hello, dude. How are you? I'm all right. You? Not bad, mate. Not bad. Oh no, they've got the big blade knife, but being Berry, remember this one from Bolton, guys? It was in Derby, too. It was in Derby, it's the um, angel of death. And here in Dar here in, where are we? Here in Berry, they need a police protection over it because the, the young scumbags would steal these blades and use them on one another. Look at that, all kitchen knives, machetes. Do you mind, I'm trying to do a video. I'm trying to do a video, shh, shh, shh. So you should be drunk at this time of day. Yes, I know. You should get a job and stop being drunk in the middle of the... Go on, get a job and sort yourself out, mate. But, uh, but, uh, anyway, angel of knives, because... This is the... Here we go. You should go home and sober up. You should need to sober up, mate. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? If I drunk, why? If you tell me why you drunk. Excuse me. Yeah, that's the goodie. Yeah, that's the goodie. Anyway, um, we'll come. We'll come back to drunk man. I have a feeling. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. You know how many times I'm in the prison? Loads time. You know what I mean? But officer, here. You know what I mean? I just fall. I just fall. I just straight with the stuff in me. We're not walking there, you're shouting. So no, I know keep, shouting. Keep, keep walking. I can dance. Yeah, sing. Look at me, look at me. I can dance. Sing. Dance up there. Yes, why not? Why not? It is my life. I'm not saying you don't know my life. You don't know my life, officer. Excuse me. I, I am not with the. You know what I mean? No, no. Ah, you, you can't. You can't. Ginger, where is the ginger? Come on. <laughs> Are you referring to the other policeman? Where is the ginger? Anyway, I'm not going to get involved. You guys take care. Ginger. <laughs> what do you mean, come on? Oh, why are you pushing me? Why are you pushing me? Because you're drunk as a fart and you need to go home because you're a loaded weapon. You're like dangerous. People won't trust standing next to you. Drunken buffoons tend to lash out and they're not trustworthy. So you can't have some crazed guy just walking around prams and children and girls. Go home, drunken man. Go home. Why is it that weird? You've never seen anyone photograph anything. You can't push me. You can't push me. 
Shafts. Last two on there. I think the rest. I, I, know, I don't say proper in your name. Why are you pushing me? I go to your number. Why are you pushing me? Listen to me. I am human. I can walk. I am resident. I can walk, but I am born. If I want to stay here, like one of them, I can stay. It's not your it's fault. Like, you drove no, into the is. public place and you called in the no. door now. So you need to leave the town centre before I lock you up. Right. You're being drunk and disorderly in a public place. Right. I've just told you that. So it's your option now no. to walk away and go home. I can't stay. No, you should go home. You will get arrested. Why? Right. You've got to go I'm home, man. You. You're drunk, shouting in a public place. Lost up, bro. Intoxicated, so you need to leave, to leave the town centre. You're scaring the kids, man. Come on. Uh, There's your option. Thank you very much. See you later. Ah. <laughs> what the fuck? Stop swearing. I'm not telling you again. Oi! No pull on me. I'm going. I'm going, but no pull on me. Here we go. I think. I think the threshold has been passed. Here we go. Here's the threshold. Here we go. Here we go. Give us your arms. Don't start no. resisting. Give us your arms. Don't start resisting. Upstairs. Last four. Last four. Just give us your arms, mate. Last four. Last four. Last four. What the fuck? Hey, don't start swearing. Fuck off. We're being polite with you, aren't we? Just give us your arms. The guy got ten warnings, so yeah. He got ten warnings to leave the city, but there you go. Anyway, good work, guys. Cheers. We'll leave him to it. So uh, sometimes names give me a giggle based on the content of my channel and uh, Chicken Cottage is certainly one of those businesses. See how they call it a boy? A boy? Only a boy. Be angry, go on! Be angry! One of the more interesting buildings here in uh, Berry. So the guy you just saw uh, Laura and I were crossing at the pe pedestrian crossing, you know, the pelican crossing, zebra crossing, whatever you call it. And he blasts through it. So I put my hands up in the air to say thanks. And he slams his brakes on and starts giving us abuse. But when I go back with the camera to challenge him, he drives off like the coward that he was. Boy 17 arrested after three men are stabbed in Berry. Police said three men were taken to hospital with injuries after the attack on Monday afternoon. In the market area of a Greater Manchester town, which is just up ahead, the attack took place, get this, in Murray Road, Bury, just up the road, at 12.15 on a Monday. So yesterday at lunchtime, the three men were taken to hospital. Two of the men have been released, but a third man is being kept in. They had air ambulances and police all over the city centre. Greater Manchester police have said that a 17-year-old boy they mean young man, but they call him a boy because legally he's a boy, even though he can drive a car, get married, and join the army. Has been arrested on a, section, a suspicion of a Section 18 assault of wounding and is in custody for questioning. The force is appealing to anyone with information to contact them. We will hopefully have a leak from the city centre CCTV, which will have captured this horrific stabbing spree in HD, hopefully, so that uh, I'll, uh, I'll render it up and you guys can all enjoy the decay in 4K. Now, I stand in front of the angel of death made of all these knives that needs a police escort here because people in Berry like to stab each other. Great number. Yesterday, as you saw, three guys. And it's not just knife crime, it's assaults, it's drunkenness, it's horror and and, um, and if you look, as a lady taking a very good photograph there, good lady. And if you look at the, the rape statistics in Britain as well, for the last 15 years, there's a trend where everything's rising massively. And uh, people that seek patterns as to why knife crime or rape are rising massively in this country should not try and find patterns because it makes you a right-wing bigot. You should accept the rising crime, you should accept the rising knife crime and rape, and uh, remember, 
It's more important to have a very diverse nation than to have a safe nation for the children. Anyway, I'll tell you some good news. Looks like the man's going to make it home for a good sleep, which is all he needs is a good sleep. Can't be out scaring the kids. Look, that's quite nice, actually. Charlie, no, not TikTok, YouTube, mate. YouTube, TikTok's for degenerates. Charlie Veach, you're right, mate. Yeah, Charlie Veach. Hello. Yeah, you're right. Nice one. Hello, everybody. Charlie Veach here. Hi, Mom. I'm on YouTube. Woo! Yeah, I know. YouTuber, TikTok, yeah. Charlie Veach. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Can I film you guys to say hello? Hello, let's say hello. I don't do anything wrong. I just, I just sit down. I am tired. You need to go home, have a sleep, sleeping time. I know, I'm homeless. I know, but yeah. Well, go find a bus station to sleep in. Have a few hours sleep. Anyway, good luck to you all. Take care. Well, that's us from Berry for today. We will see you on the next video. And remember, hello, remember, don't carry bladed articles and don't go on mass stabby stabby sprees. Just don't do it, madam.